How much do we really care towards these kids and society? That's the question. How much do we want to invest in these kids now or later? Because we're going to do it. Do we want to keep on building prisons? Or do we want to invest in these kids when we can? I did a program in Roseland Elementary School. I did such a good job, they didn't ask me back. Get that? I did such a great job, I scared the shit out of the people. I'm talking about the golden rule. I'm talking about Boy Scouts. I'm talking about playing music and being positive. They didn't want to hear that. So think about what I say. You guys are, and ladies are in positions to make a change in the whole world. I make it through music. I'm making it now through my book and my words. My feeling is we can all make a change if we just really work hard. I teach these kids words like being humble, honest, truth. Don't lie. Respect. But when they see adults bullshitting each other, and when it comes to politics, and we're just shucking and jiving, what do you expect these people to think? We have to set an example. Am I doing okay? I, don't, I feel like I'm yelling at everybody. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really passionate. <clears throat> I never intended to be a role model. I never intended to be a mentor. I never intended to, uh, intended to be a child advocate. I just want, I expected to be a good person giving back music. I never became that rock star, but to be a published author on the biggest publishing company in the world and have their support is amazing to me. I'm touching more people in 90 days than I've probably had most of my rock stars do in a lifetime. And that's humbling to me. To come and talk to you, ladies and gentlemen, and make you understand through music and through what I do, we can make a change. You can make a change. It doesn't take much. Just, you know, things are free. A smile to a kid. If it's someone's in your courtroom and they're there for a lot of times, ask them why they're in juvenile hall 20 times. I was a juvenile justice commissioner, court appointed, I think it was from Mark Tanzel, I think it was appointed me, for two years. I was appalled how kids are treated in court community schools and juvenile halls. I'm appalled. I'm appalled how they were treated down in San Francisco. But nobody sees them. I'm sure you guys don't go visit the, you know, the jails or anything inside the cells, do you? Hey, Bob, how you doing? How's it in there, you know? Hey, Freddie, how's the food? <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that, and they're not going to tell you. But if you put yourself in these guys' places, 100% of the kids that go to juvenile hall that I worked with physically, sexually, mentally abused. Now, my mom killed herself. I buried my mom when she was 73 years old. When my dad died, my mom got a boyfriend. I was 40 years old when I met my mom's boyfriend. It was the creepiest thing in the world for me. I can't imagine being a little kid and having all this stuff going on, let alone being abused, let alone going to school and getting picked on. Because at risk can be a lot of things. It doesn't have to be gangbangers. At risk can be fat, skinny, in a wheelchair, a lot of ways of looking at it. That's, what's, that's what I work with. But through the gift of music, it's allowed me to make changes. I'm doing a song for you. What's the time? You become my roadie. I really like this. <laughs> There's a clock up there. Oh, that looks like oh, it's, it's, it's not it's very accurate. It's still quarter after 11. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got lots of time. Okay. Uh, so I worked at a Valley of the Moon Children's Home for about eight years as a volunteer because, again, nobody's paid me to do this. I volunteered because I love kids. I absolutely adore kids. I was never abused, so I try to give it back. So I wrote a song called Kids Helping Kids, and it goes like this. That sounds nice.
just kids helping kids. We're just kids helping kids. place to live. The scars of life screams cut like a knife. How much more can they